How electricians should approach learning automation control systems. So I asked electricians on Instagram the challenges they face preventing them progressing into industrial automation, smart homes and BMS systems. Here's one of their challenges and my proposed solution. Accessing technical data and practical information without going on endless manufacturing training. So how I understand this is you're struggling to access more generic information that doesn't cost you in time or money going on specific training and from my experience it can be really overwhelming learning new systems for the first time so I wouldn't recommend multiple manufacturers do your research on all of them pick one that suits your interests or business needs best and then stick with it for at least a year focus on their technical information for their products for now and you'll learn over time that all control systems work off the same technical principles and then after a year of learning this first system it'll be much easier for you to then then apply those similar principles in learning an additional system. Once you've got a pretty good understanding of control systems in general, which you should have after a year, the main bottleneck is the time it takes to then learn the new software of a system and how you'd go about programming, say the same thing that you did in the original system to how you would then apply it in this new system. I started with locks on with no prior knowledge of any other control systems system it took me quite a while before I felt comfortable and proficient with it probably about a year but the thing that was the real turning point for me was installing it in my own home and making sure that it worked correctly and that my wife was happy with it and it basically forced me to really start to understand the system and how I can use it how to fault find and all those things that go along with it it's not until you really live with a system or your installing it day in day out that you really then completely understand it and feel comfortable with it. I then did an industrial PLC training course or a couple of them. The first one was Siemens S7 which was just out of this world very difficult. Wouldn't recommend that to someone starting out in the industry and then the other one was a click PLC not that well heard of. It's a much more basic PLC although it's a bit dated there's some good online training material on their suppliers website. Website. And then the next one after that was Control 4, which I loved. I thought it was so intuitive to use their software. And because I'd already had good experience with Loxon, good experience with Click and Siemens in an industrial sense, picking up Control 4 was very easy and they make software and programming environment really intuitive anyway. So that one was super easy, super nice. I really enjoyed that. And then finally, or at least as of today, I then learned KNX. KNX is similar to Loxon. It's kind of a BMS HVAC control system, probably the most well-known actually out of all of these systems but the problem with KNX is it's not intuitive at all using things like group addresses to do programming even after all that experience with other systems trying to then understand how to program using group addresses with KNX I found really difficult their programming environment certainly needs updating and made more accessible and made more intuitive for people or anyone really but certainly people coming into the industry and just to go back to what I mentioned earlier about time investment it takes a long time to learn new systems so you've got to think of it from like a business owner's perspective and from speaking to friends within the industry it's a lot of time to invest when you're running a business to learn additional systems so you want to find a system really that can do 80% of what you think you're going to want to do in the future and then learn additional systems if you need to after that first one you've also got to think of the risk involved with installing systems that you're not as competent with or confident with you know there's more things that could go wrong it takes more time to install them to program them etc and then things like support as well remote support you just want to be comfortable confident so you can address all these points quickly and with confidence to not stress you out basically and the guys that I know in the industry who run successful small businesses they typically stick with one main system and then maybe have one supplementary system for example you might have KNX for the controls and back end of the HVAC like the heating ventilation and air conditioning and lighting and blinds and that sort of thing and then you might also integrate that with control 4 to do things related to audio visual and security
security, CCTV, cinema rooms, that sort of thing. Typically, most people in the industry will know one or two, maybe three systems, and then they just stick with that. You can pretty much do everything you wanna do with two systems if you choose the right one. So just to summarize, guys, my advice would be don't worry about lots of different manufacturers. Just pick one system initially, focus on that for a year. Don't focus on any other information, just absorb and understand the information that they're providing. And then after a year or so, you'll have a good understanding of that system, but also a general understanding of all systems, because they're all the same. And then it will make that easier to adopt another system after that amount of time and after that investment that you've made understanding that first system. Also, if you'd like some free training on how to understand electrical schematics, I've got a free video and workbook, which you can download from the link in the description. If you're facing challenges as an electrician or engineer, please feel free to DM me or let me know in the comments and I'll give you my take on how to resolve them.